So we're going to ask you to take a quick look at the calendar. What's the date? It's the 10th of December. Exactly nine months since the Wuhan virus was declared a pandemic. And almost every day in these nine months, we have been telling the world to make China pay. Make China pay for killing more than 1.5 million people. Make China pay for making 69 million people ill, for bringing our lives to a standstill, for setting the global economy back by at least $15.8 trillion. Let those figures sink in. $15.8 trillion, that's what we have lost. For whitewashing an entire year. Make China pay for exporting a deadly virus. And guess what? The world has failed so far. Forget making China pay, the world is paying China, helping the virus exporter reach new economic heights. Listen to this. China is expected to account for 30%, 3-0, of the world's economic growth this year. China is expected to grow by 2% this year, the year of the pandemic. How did China get here? With our help. China claims to be the biggest trading partner to 130 countries and regions. Have any of these countries done anything to restructure the supply chains? The answer is no. China's economy has grown 3.2% in the second quarter, 4.9% in the third quarter. These are their figures. Nonetheless, China's GDP has been upgraded from stable to modestly improving. The global inaction has emboldened China. There's been a rather ironical role reversal. The criminal here is punishing its victims. China blocked pork imports from Germany. Do you know why? To warn Berlin against isolating Beijing. China banned beef imports from Australia. Do you know why? To punish Australia for questioning the origin of the Wuhan virus. What does this say about the global justice system? Here's another question. Do you recall any country slapping sanctions on China and do not count the US because American sanctions have nothing to do with this pandemic? And we'd say don't bother thinking about others. Forget slapping sanctions, countries are signing deals with China. China has already inked vaccine deals with Malaysia and the Philippines. It is constructing vaccine production facilities in Brazil in Morocco, in Indonesia. China has promised a loan of $1 billion to Latin America and Caribbean nations. And let's get one thing clear. China's vaccine diplomacy is centered around profit. This is not philanthropy. And we are helping China make that profit. If China manages to capture just 15% of the market in middle and low income countries, 15, 1, 5, then Beijing would net close to $3 billion in sales. So much for making China pay. Why are we so shy of punishing a country that ensured that recession touches all five continents on Earth? That pushed 400 million people out of their jobs? That permanently pulled the shutters on 98,000 companies? What explains the insincerity in holding China accountable? And just in case it has not sunk in, let me repeat it for the sake of world leaders. 1.5 million people have lost their lives to the Wuhan virus that China gave the world. 1.5 is not just a number. 1.5 million mothers, fathers, young children, spouses, siblings, they're dead. Do their loved ones not deserve justice? 400 million people have lost their livelihood. How will their families survive? Do these people not deserve justice? You and I have lost an entire year. Why? Because China covered up an outbreak. It exported a virus and now we are rolling out the red carpet for Beijing. Why is China not being isolated? Why are Chinese goods not being boycotted? The world needs to give Beijing a befitting reply. And if we don't, then we should start preparing for the next pandemic. Do you know why? Because if we let China get away with full impunity with this one, it will strike back harder. So it's time to set a precedent. I've said it before, I will say it again. It is time to make China pay.
Thank you for watching Gravitas on Vion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching Vion. World is one.